Wildlife is a big part of our state's history. And a Victoria man is trying to tell their story in a very unique way. From a distance, they look like beautiful pieces of artwork. But up close, you'll see there's a message. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lawrence shows us how this project is actually a history lesson about wildlife. I wanted to do something that has sort of that story and depth built into it. Eric Fremstead has always found inspiration close to home. It's taken in Shakopee right by the uh, Renaissance Festival. Photography meant being in the right place at the right time. But a couple years ago, he decided to turn in his camera for a pencil. All of a sudden, I thought, these line drawings, what if those lines were words? And those words were telling the history of bison. From a distance, it's a beautiful piece of artwork. But up close, you see that the bison, wolf, and grizzly bear are built by words. Thousands of them. These are just all pages of notes, and the highlights mean I've essentially used them within the wolf piece. He'll begin by researching each animal for six months or more. Then I got to write it all in pencil once because turns out I mess up a lot. It's also because he wants to get it right. The bison piece shows how their numbers went from 30 million down to about 300 and the impact that had on Native Americans and wildlife. Sometimes, you know, it's not. It's not the most uplifting on a Monday <laughs> to, to read some of this stuff, but it does touch on, you know, Endangered Species Act and how we, we've come around to now protect these animals. When the story is finally told, Eric traces the words with an archival pen, then he adds watercolors. Those steps add another three months to the process. All in all, I'm kind of thinking each one is going to take me about a year um, just because there's so much attention to detail. A time lapse tells the tale as he's writing the story. Hand ever get sore? Oh, yeah. Hand and lower back. It's a good, uh, I have a good chiropractor, which is, which is good. He also has fans, like at your Arts Desire Gallery in Minnetonka. As a piece of art, it's just great to look at. But then when you go deeper into the details of, of the writing and, the, and the, the research that he's done, makes it really, really quite unique. When his grizzly bear is complete, sea turtles, bumblebees, and polar bears are in his future, each one a piece of a puzzle with the goal of inspiring and educating. Like the overall goal is just kind of keeping people in tune with protecting wildlife and nature and not letting it get lost. I think for me, this is one of the things I'm proudest of in my life. In Victoria, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Every reason to be proud, impressive. Eric calls this the Unnatural Selection Project. He keeps the pieces in a storage unit and he donates much of his sales to wildlife organizations and nonprofits. For more information on Eric's project, we have put a link on our website. I know of a person or place that John should know about. You can send him your Finding Minnesota ideas at WCCO.com slash links.